Do you feel like time and time again, the men you are dealing with seem to consistently disrespect you while you stick around and are stupid enough to wait for a change. That change never comes. The truth is men won't respect you for taking their disrespect. It only shows them that they should disrespect you more. Nice girls finish last. But maybe if you understood why, you could have the courage to stand up for yourself and be who the men want to please as opposed to it being the other way around. So today we'll be discussing seven reasons why men don't want women who won't walk away. Number one, respect. Let's imagine you have a man who cheats on you and you take him back. Respect is very important for relationships. So even though you take him back and you feel like you've done him a favor in this situation, because you have if you take him back, right? And you think, oh, well, you know, he's going to appreciate the fact that I took him back. He's going to appreciate the fact that I allowed him to come back into my life and continue this relationship despite him cheating on me. What's actually happening underneath the surface, unbeknownst to you, is that he has lost respect for you. And respect is such a huge part of why these men don't want you if you can't walk away. These men are not interested in women that they don't have to and don't need to respect. Now, obviously I'm not saying that in every scenario where you take a guy back who cheats on you that it's the end of the world. But what I am saying is when you make it a habit that a man doesn't have to respect you because you don't even respect yourself, then he won't. And the moment he stops having to respect you because you don't demand that respect from him, that is the moment he begins looking elsewhere. Because the truth is, these men want to be in relationships where they have to and need to respect their partner, right? He has to see you as a whole individual, like a whole person with your own feelings and thoughts and opinions. That's good. That means he can actually uh, respect and listen to you uh, and listen to your thoughts and opinions and the problems that you have and try to actively work on things or fix things, right? If he has no respect for you, he can't see you as an individual in which he might need to adjust his behavior or not. He just sees you as an empty shell that he can project any feeling or emotion that he wants. And because you're so desperate for his validation and attention, you know, we always talk about the same things a lot of time, the, the validation and attention monster within you right, that wants to be loved so badly by anyone stops you from actually standing up for yourself and then he stops seeing you as a whole individual. A man's respect for you is also determined by your own self-image of yourself. Wherever your self-esteem level is, however you view yourself, that's also going to determine whether or not he respects you or how much he respects you. So if you think of yourself very highly, you're going to carry yourself that way. You're going to project that outwardly. You're not going to deal with a lot of BS from not just him, but from people in general, right? He's going to absorb that. He's going to understand that in the process of learning you and understanding you, he's going to get comprehend that and see that as that's who you are. You value yourself highly. You don't take BS from people. You're not allowing people to walk all over you. And subsequently, his respect for you will grow or increase based on his understanding of how you view yourself. The same thing, vice versa. If he sees you have very low self-esteem, you have very low self-worth, you don't view yourself very highly, think you deserve very much, you don't think you're worthy of anything good, he's going to receive that and absorb that and go to himself, hmm, she doesn't think she's worth very much, so why would I think she's worth very much? She doesn't have very much respect for herself, so why would I have too much respect for her? Number two, fear. Let's imagine a scenario in which you and your guy that you're together with, you're in a relationship with, he's going out to the club with his boys for his friend's B-Day, okay? Not just to hang out. He's going there. His friend's celebrating a birthday. He got invited, so he's going there. Nothing shady in, in, in general, okay? So he's going to the club to celebrate his friend's B-Day, who's single. Uh, a girl comes up to him. Let's just say you're with an attractive guy. I'm assuming you don't like ugly guys. Maybe some of you guys like ugly guys. But for the rest of you who like attractive guys, your man's interesting your man's uh, awesome. So a girl comes up to him, is flirting with him, um, talking to him, chatting with him. In the process of chatting and flirting, she wants him to come back 
to her place after the club and your man says no yay woohoo your man says no to girls and says no to squirtle and he goes back to you after going out with his friends at the club so you might be thinking to yourself well of course he would say no i'm amazing i'm awesome man i'm the best so he loves me so much that's why he says no to squirtle from other girls who are offering squirtle well no not really that's not really why he says no what he, why why he really says no to the temptation that other of other girls coming up to him and wanting him and wanting access to him is because of the fear he feels <laughs> that he might lose out on you. Okay, I know we love to think in this fairy tale world that everyone is just such a genuine soul and they do the goodest things out of the kindness of their heart. But in reality, that's not how things work. In reality, people are mainly doing things for themselves. And in some cases, the thing that serves them best also serves you. Okay, so what I mean by that is the fear that he has internally that he doesn't want to lose out on the woman he currently has in his life is what is actually motivating him internally to make a decision or not. And so the reason I bring up fear is because men do not want women who they do not fear. Now, I had to explain that that way because I knew if I brought that up right away, you guys would be like, what you're telling me that my man should fear me that doesn't make sense why 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 should i why should i uh want a man who fears me or why should i why should i be in a relationship where there's fear what i mean by healthy fear is the fear that if you don't act right right i'm talking about as the guy and the same thing for girls right is the fear that if you don't act right as a person as an individual as a partner that your partner will get up and walk away from you that is what i call healthy fear because that healthy fear when you're going through temptation or you you're in a moment of weakness or you have a decision to make where oh I can be loyal to my partner or I can um give in to this temptation that fear is going to be part of the things motivating you to make the quote unquote right decision because that fear that if I do the wrong thing, if I say the wrong thing, if I don't treat my partner with respect, if I don't act the right way, then my partner is going to leave me and I will no longer have that partner. And the reason I say that men want to have that fear for their woman is because that fear keeps them in line doing what they're supposed to be doing. There's a reason they say happy wife, happy life. There's a reason that saying exists right? Because the men who are actually committed to their women and want the best for their relationship understand that you can't just act any way you want and do whatever you want if you want to have a good relationship with your woman. Number three, we have boundaries. Imagine a scenario in which you're telling a guy that he should not curse you out or call you outside of your name when you guys are in an argument. Let's just say for, for the sake of what we're talking about that you do not appreciate that. You've experienced that in your past. You don't want that to continue being a thing. You don't tolerate that whatsoever. If he's upset, he can be upset. He can uh, talk to you like a mature adult, but he's not going to call you outside of your name. And let's say for the sake of argument, he ends up doing that. You guys get into a heated argument and he's calling you all types of B words. He's calling you all types of hoes and he's calling you. He's saying all this stuff about you. You now, when you don't address it or you don't allow him to face any consequences because of it, you have now shown him that there are no consequences for crossing those boundaries. And so subsequently, he, he starts to view you as less of an individual because only an individual can think for themselves and set boundaries for themselves and stick to those boundaries that if people cross them, they are going to be consequences for that. And like I said before, as soon as he stops seeing you as an individual, why would he want you? Why would he want to chase after you? Why would he care about you? Why would he think about you? Once a man thinks it's a free for all, by free for all, I just mean he, everyone, he can do whatever he wants. He won't even be bothered to think of your needs or how to keep you happy. Because part of setting boundaries 
in the process of setting boundaries did guys get to understanding okay you set these boundaries and i have to figure out how to keep you happy throughout the relationship by not crossing those boundaries and as you set those boundaries he's figuring out how he's going to maneuver in the relationship and the things that he should not do or say or ways he should not act because those are not going to make you happy those are going to make you upset and so he's actively thinking about how can I make her more happy and spend time making her less upset. These are all things that he's thinking about. These are all things that he cares about. These are all things that make him want you more. And number four, we have comfortability in the scenario. We're going to imagine you have a man, even if you're single, we'll imagine you're so beautiful that you have a man becomes comfortable with the idea that he doesn't have to act right because you won't have the courage to leave. So he stops trying to improve or better himself as a partner. Okay, now this is important, right? The, the comfortability that a man feels when he knows that you won't walk away is very dangerous because remember I talked about fear. Obviously, the opposite of that fear would be the comfortability. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's so good for him to be comfortable in the relationship. It's so good for him to be comfortable in the fact that I'll be with him all the time forevermore till the end of time. You want your man in a perpetual state of feeling like he has to put his best foot forward in order to keep you happy in the relationship. Why? Because that means that on a consistent basis, there is something more to work towards in the relationship. You don't want to give him the idea that there's no longer anything more to work towards for the relationship. Because what's he going to do? He's going to sit back, he's going to relax, and he's going to become a lazy couch potato that doesn't feel like he has to do anything more for the relationship. And then what happens, you know when people say, oh, we lost our spark we stopped dating each other. We have to start dating each other again. That's part of that. When both sides, right, not just the man, but both sides have become so comfortable with the relationship that they no longer feel the need or the pressure to go and do more or try to be a better partner and improve. When men want a woman, they're actually caring about that woman's level of satisfaction in the relationship. And they're trying to actively be the best man they can be, especially at the beginning when he knows, think about how men act at the beginning of a relationship when he really wants you and he's trying to show you that he's the man for you. He's constantly trying to figure out how he can improve or do more or be better that you will accept him and want him as much as he wants you. But that stops after a while when he becomes so comfortable that he doesn't feel the need to improve or get better. The men want to feel like they are working towards something and being held to a standard or else they become uninterested in you. I, I don't know if thrill is the right word, but that is part of the intrigue and part of what makes it interesting to be in a relationship, right? Being held to a standard that you must abide by and live up to in order to have access to that girl. Number five, we have ego. Let's imagine a scenario. As you continue to show him you won't walk away for any reason, you allow his ego, let's say he cheats on you and you take him back multiple times over and over and over and over again. You allow his ego to convince him after a while that he's better than you because if you're taking him back over and over again despite him making the same mistake over and over again his ego communicates to him hey you want to know why she's taking you back so much it's because you're so amazing you're so awesome you're so intelligent your d game is so out of this world that she can't help herself but to take you back no matter what you do. And this is happening subconsciously. So then he says to himself, hmm, if she'll take me back no matter what it is I do, and she'll never walk away from me, I must be so much better than her, which is why she can't even bring herself to leave me no matter what it is I do. That's what his ego will tell him. Now, the moment he thinks that he is better than you, what's gonna happen? disrespect he's here you're there and you become like a subhuman again he doesn't see you as a whole individual that must be respected or treated a particular way because the truth is the man 
are subconsciously, when they're looking for a wife, when they're looking for a wife, when they're looking for a wife, they're subconsciously searching for a woman who will humble them and they can actually listen to, respect their opinion, respect their intelligence, respect their train of thought, right? Not a woman that they think they're better than, a woman that they think elevates them and without them, they wouldn't be where they are or they wouldn't be able to reach the heights that they have. Okay, that's what they actually want in a wife. And number six, we have perception in a relationship. A man will adjust his perception of you based on his experience with you. You show him after hurting you that you won't leave and he will assume that you can't do any better than him. And so what happens just like the ego, he'll feel like you're less than like you're not a whole individual. And it's crazy because when you can't walk away, even if you have a ton of options, even if you have a, a ton of guys beating down your door to be in a relationship with you and that want you, the moment he sees that you can't walk away from anything, no matter what, he subconsciously will begin to believe that you don't have any thing more or better going for you, which is why you don't leave. So how is he supposed to respect you when he thinks that you are, that he is the best that you can ever do? There are no guys that want you or care about you or want to be in a relationship that are any better than me, which is why you'll stick with me no matter how much or how poorly I treat you. Once he thinks of you as less, he'll disrespect you because your thoughts and your feelings are irrelevant to him. And number seven, we have, this is the most, honestly, number seven is the most interesting one. Number seven, we have spoiled child. Okay. So just like it would be if you allowed your child to act out with no consequences ever, the same way as that child grows older and older and older, that child will eventually think less and less and less of your authority until uh, until eventually you have absolutely no control as a parental figure is the same way as you allow him to see that no matter what happens no matter how he treats you no matter how poorly no matter how much disrespect no matter how uh, uh much how horrible he talks to you or does anything bad he does to you there are no consequences. You're never going to walk away. There won't even be the threat of you walking away. The acts are only going to get worse and worse and worse and more and more and more disrespectful. And as things get more and more disrespectful, you'll only have a tougher and tougher choice to, to make, because if you stay, there's only going to be more disrespect. And for those of you who are really desperate for the attention and validation, I know for some of you, it might be tough to actually leave without consequences to our bad actions. We can't understand what direction to move in. And I know for you, you're thinking, well, he should already know he's a man. He's, he should already know how to treat me. He should already know how to, how to do the right thing. He should already know. He should already know. Why should I have to tell him? Why should I have to face, make him face consequence? But the truth is we all need that structure and to understand consequences in order to understand what direction we want to move in. Also, remember that these men are going to test you because a lot of times girls will say they have boundaries. A lot of times girls will say they are standing on business. A lot of times girls will talk a big game and not actually be about anything.